you don't know me, my name is Adrian Mandeville. I'm a selectman here in town, and I just want to welcome you to our groundbreaking for our Andover Community Center. We are, we've been waiting for this since 1969. <laughs> so we are so proud to be able to bring this to you guys. We have some great people here. We have a state representative, Steve Weir from the 55th is here. We have uh, Senator Rahm, did he make it down here today? Yep. Awesome, oh, I'm sorry I couldn't see it. In the back there, Senator Rahm from the 4th Senate District. We have some representatives from the Building Committee. I see Diane Charquette, I don't know, did Ed Sirisley make it back? No, but we do have Diane Charquette here and some others. We're gonna have some, some representatives here. Uh, Jerry Cremay from the Board of Education. Did he make it? Okay. So we have Kathy Palazzi who has been tirelessly working uh, and, and running our, our senior programs for quite a while now. We're very excited. I'm sure she's even more excited to have a building to do it in on a regular basis. We have some reps from Reading Edge. We have Eric, who is our project manager. We have the owner of the company here. We have his sidekick, Serge. So we have Serge. And uh, we have our architect. Um, he's uh, um, a peg arch. Okay. So all these people have come together to make this happen. And we're so excited to, to have this finally happening. So we want to just give our, some of our representatives that are here a chance that uh, helped us get these funds. Um, this came through the, the ARPA money. Um, and there were some restrictions on being able to use it, but the fact that it got to us um, is a credit to what the state being able to pass those things down to us. So uh, maybe we can start with MB Raman if you want to come forward, if you want to say anything. Hello, everyone. Hi. How are you doing? Are you excited? Yes. Yes, yes. awesome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for having me. Great to be here. Of course, Anything needed our town, I work closely with the governor office and all our delegates. Anything we can do, bringing and building, whatever, either a food pantry or building the community center or affordable housing, anything. So I thank you kindly for putting this together. The team, you have the really strong, a great team. This is, you know, making it happen because you have the loyal people working hard and had a mission and vision to do something, and this is happening today because of your hard work. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Steve Weir, do you want to come forward? Good morning. I hope everybody's enjoying what's left of the summer. When I was <laughs> on the way here this morning, I wasn't sure if we're going to need the umbrella. I'm glad you got a tent now that it's here for the sun. Um, just like to uh, congratulate all of you again hearing that this project's been in the works or it was a thought uh, back in 1969 is really a testament to the fortitude and just kind of keeping that vision, keeping that spirit alive to get this project underway. You know, hearing that obviously a community center, uh, you know, to me, I, I grew up in Glastonbury and I watched the Glastonbury Community Center be built uh, about 20 years ago. And today that facility is used, it's kind of the heart of the Apple Harvest Festival. And during the week, it's housing seniors, there are community meetings, it's a meeting place for the young and, and the old and everybody in between. It's the, kind of the heart of the community where everybody can gather and use it. So I look forward to, hopefully that is what this becomes and it becomes the heart of your community. And uh, congratulations on getting it to this point. Thank you. Uh, how about Kathy Palazzi? You wanted to say a couple words? I want to thank you all. First, I want to thank our state senator for coming. I want to thank our state rep for coming. I want to thank all the people that are going to build our building, the architects who put it together. All this means such a great deal to us. And this is a very special day for us. We are so long awaited for the groundbreaking ceremony. We've waited 24 years, and some of the seniors even longer. Right, Perry? Right. Okay, and uh, we're grateful to our town officials, our first selectman, Jeff McGuire, our vice selectman, Adrian Mandeville, selectman, Paula King, Jeff Murray, and of course, Scott Persson. And we are also are grateful to our town administrator, Eric Anderson, and Ed Sirisley, chairman of the building committee, for all the hours they spent on this project. We can only imagine the work and decisions that had to be made in order to bring to our community and seniors a place we can hold meetings, have lunches, movies, exercise, plan events, put on breakfast for the community, and just sit, have a cup of coffee, 
and enjoy and visit with our neighbors. The community building will offer meeting rooms, a future senior director, and so much more for our entire community. So thank you to all of you who are here today. Thank you for helping us reach our goal. Thank you. Enjoy the lunch. And then uh, I'd like to have uh, maybe a representative from uh, Leading Edge and Hagark, if you want to come forward and just say a couple words. We'd love to have you. <laughs> So these gentlemen have, have worked with us to take what was originally just a concept and an idea, you know, worked with the, what we had uh, gotten together from our initial scope and made it into something that we can actually bring to you within budget. And they worked really hard to, to make those numbers work and we just want to thank you for that because that's the hardest part of this, is doing this within budget. We're going to accomplish that because we have some, some great guys behind us, but more importantly, they're members of our community, they're part of their teams. You know, we have uh, Eric, who's actually leading the project, lives right here in town. His second in charge here over at Leading Edge is also a resident of town. So also one of the others is we bought them because this is really about community in community. And this location was the spot that everyone had picked. We did a survey a couple years ago. We had about uh, almost 400 residents that replied. And the place that everyone said they wanted a community center was right here. And it's sort of become that even before the building's even built. If you look behind me, you can see our awesome community garden, which is doing really well with all the rain. But this is really kind of where people come. It's, it's where the school is at, it's where the town's at, it's where the fire department's at. So putting it here is really just sort of finishes it off and makes us this great community complex. So do you guys want to say anything? Yeah, so as Adrian mentioned, this is a special project for us because a few of our team members do live in town and that's one of the reasons we pursued it. I didn't know until we got involved how long the community has been trying to get this underway. So we're prepared to take over the reins now and take extra, extra special care to build this special place for everybody to come and meet. And hopefully for a long time, there'll be great memories built here. Yeah. And just a, um, and just a side note from Peg Arc Architecture, we've worked with the town very closely on the design. Through many revisions, many meetings, we've presented alternates to make sure that the building fits in with the context and that ultimately it meets the goals of the community. So again, from Matt, Matt Pegalo from Peg Arc Architecture, I'm just very happy to be part of your project. So thank you guys. So I got one more other quick thing here. It's a little bit of a surprise to them. So can Mike Palazzi and Kathy Palazzi come back up here real quick? Kathy, how long have you been working with the seniors? 24. 24 years. Years she's been working with the seniors and mm -hmm helping to run this program and, and you do you do food lunches yes. for everybody? You, you everyone, we welcome everyone. Welcomes everyone in, brings in members of the community. And honestly, she's been working so hard at this. So it's a surprise to her, but we just want you both to know that we're actually gonna name the kitchen in your honor. It's gonna be the Palazzi Family Kitchen. Thank you for all that you've done for us as a community. This is not for me, this is from Board of Selectmen, we all talked about this and, and we talked about it within committee with some people and, and everyone felt like you were the one person that made this happen because of your dedication and your efforts. So thank you for all of your efforts and for inspiring us as a board, myself as a, as a member of this project and something that you kind of put into me back when I was a board of finance seven years ago. And, and so it's, it's dedication from individuals like Kathy that make these things happen. So we want to honor you with that. And your family, I mean, it's you and it's Mike and it's your daughter sometimes, even a grandkid yeah. here and there. So it really is a family effort and so we wanted to honor that. So thank you. Oh my God, thank you. And so one last thing, we're just gonna do a quick photo op for everyone that's here, for, we're gonna do a little groundbreaking. So we got shovels for everybody. Ed Sirisley, fantastic chairman. Diane Croquette, where are you Diane? Back there. <laughs> You're here someplace. I want you to do a shovel full for us of that dirt. She was our treasurer. Without her, we wouldn't know what we were doing. Or oh, a secretary. i sorry, Diane. Um, Don Denley, Karen Hunter, uh, Scott Persan. Thank you, Scott. And Jeff Murray. Thank you, Jeff. Where's Jeff? Thank you, Jeff. Um, for everyone, uh, let's see, who did I forget? Mike Palazzi. I better not forget my husband and myself. <laughs> And we just thank everyone. And I actually pulled in our municipal agent at the end. I said, hey, you're part of us. So 
I, I I dragged Roberta into it too. There you go. There you go. All right, anybody that's uh, we got somebody from reading yet? You got the middle. Where's Jeff? Jeff, 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 Jeff,